Oh, okay, this is very interesting. Every relationship has something to teach us, and twin flames are often considered the ones that will teach us the most. Meeting a twin flame is considered the most powerful soul encounter a person can experience. Ooh, okay, this, this is very, very, very interesting. Ooh, okay. G'day everyone, it's your host Skylar on the mic. Welcome to Deep Thinkers Corner, a series where you and I talk about all possible stuff you and I might think of as interesting. Of course, combined with nerdy stuff like manga, anime, music, and even poetry. So, uh, first of all, I want to, let's say, um, I want to apologize for not keeping up my schedule. I voice at my parents' place and yeah, I just didn't really have the time to look up stuff and especially, well, record them. <laughs> so first of all, I'm sorry for that and yeah, welcome to the third episode now of this podcast. Woo. We are already at episode three. Three. This is, wow. Still unbelievable. To me at least. Um, so in today's episode I want to indulge into the topic of twin flames. Last in my first episode I was already speaking about soulmates, mates and they like I was already hinting at twin flames, right? And making a difference between soulmates and twin flames, which is not easy. Which is not. It is not easy. No not at all. So <sighs> And today, I just want to talk about the differences about those two things. And especially, like, Twin Flames. I'm mostly considering Twin Flames in this episode. And why it is so special. So, well, after we cleared what soulmates are, more or less, what is a so-called Twin Flame? Well... A twin flame is a powerful soul connection between people and actually quite rare. This is at least what I heard and read about. Again, I'm not really ex experienced in this kind of thing. I'm just really interested. Sometimes this is also stated as a mirror soul. People would say it is basically the other half of your soul, but personally, I would not agree with it. In my opinion, Twin Flames, other than Soulmates, just share so much in common with you, good and bad traits, that you could falsely think they are your other half. Which they are not. They are not. It's just based on the idea that sometimes one soul gets split into two bodies. Again, this is not something I would agree on, but, well, theories are theories. And ideas by ideas. So here's a quote. One of the main character <laughs> it's too early in the morning. Char <laughs> characteristics of a twin flame relationship is that it will be both challenging and healing. This is due to the mirroring nature of twin flames. They show you your deepest insecurities, fears and shadows, but they also help you overcome them and vice versa. Your twin flame will be equally affected by you. End of quote. At this point, I could say, yeah, I would agree on that. At least this is what I would also consider under um, yeah, twin flames. But as I said before, I think they just share so much in common that you are just like, they are not like you. But they share enough in common with you that you're just like confronted with things you might also not like about yourself or you're just really insecure about. So what I also heard is, yeah, this was what I think is important to say, um, is just something I heard of, okay? <coughs> Sorry. You always return to your twin flame other than soulmates. 
while you might be able to grow out of this soulmate relationship, you will always find your way back to your twin flame. You are just like magnets or a boomerang if you want to take this picture. No matter how far you distance yourself or yourselves as you are two people, at least, <laughs> you will always find a way back. It's like always finding a way back home. Um, however, as in any relationship, it is not about completion as you do. This is a false theory. This is not only my opinion, but this, this is also what I read uh, when I was looking it up. Um, again, relationships are not about completing you as a do or I don't know. Again, it is not about completion of you with this person, but it's rather completing yourself on your own. So um, yeah, this is what I would say. So, um, yeah, again, no relationship, be it romantic, friendships, what kind of relationship ever, maybe also family, I don't know, there are so many types of relationships in life, um, they are not about completing each other while you're together, but rather to complete yourself with the help of the other. But you do it still kind of on your own. So, yeah. Um, what I also want to mention is... Twin flames? Um, well, their nature is really challenging. And due to that, you just get permanently smacked against your fears. Uh, insecurities, EDC, uh, as I mentioned before. <sighs> yes, I guess why it is considered one of the toughest and most um, teachable, teachable? No, most lecture-filled, I suppose, relationships you could have, at least about yourself. Yeah, so basically you just have to overcome what you fear the most or not the most but maybe what you fear about yourself the most or your insecurities at least um like for example someone is really really insecure about how i look like for example and maybe where twin flame is also really insecure about what they look like and Together, you need to learn to accept yourself the way you look like, and it can be hard. It can be just really hard. This is at least what I imagine it to be. But I guess not any, not all relationships are, yeah, easy to maintain. So yeah, and I mean every relationship comes with hardships. So. If someone expects a relationship to be easy, they are so wrong. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just speaking from my own experience. I mean, an, a relationship can be easier, but it's never easy. As in, yeah, I'm just going to be friends with them. It's not like that. It's just like, you... <laughs> Or, I'm just going to be in a relationship with them. It's not like that. It is not. Because once you start to get to know someone, you... I mean, you get to know them, right? It's not like, yo, uh, it's not like, like um, you just see them on the street, like a normal person. But you get to know about their fears, their insecurities, what they like, what they dislike what you get to learn a lot of stuff also about other relationships with them it, like family for example and it can be hard okay 
it can be hard. So, and I just imagine that Twin Flames is just like level up. It is not just a level up, maybe 10 levels up. Levels up. <laughs> God, I cannot speak. Um, yeah, it just. Wow. I don't know. I mean, as they are very similar to you, it's just like. Maybe their relationships with friends is similar, similar to your own, and you're just like, oh damn. Sorry for cussing, but if is it a cuss word actually? Anyways, it's just like, wow, wow. Okay, hold up. It is you see what happens to yourself sometimes, but from a different perspective. Again, this is just what I imagine it to be like. I have no fluting idea. I have not met neither a soulmate, at least not someone I would say who's my soulmate. I have not met someone I would consider my twin flame. Not at all. So, yeah. But again, about twin flames and soulmates, also because they also get a little mixed, there are quite some stories, folklores, and um, legends, and again, stuff which is just based on this thing, those things, at least this is what I would consider they are low-key based on it. <laughs> so, yeah, I just remembered, there is an urban legend, myth, and Wikipedia was a good help for me to remember low-key what it was about. Um, so I think it was Chinese folklore. About a magical connection between two people's soul. Souls? I cannot English. <laughs> I think it is called Red String of Fate. Wait. You mean? You mean? No, wait. Ah, uh, here it is. Or Red thread of fate so um so basically it is a story of how two people's souls are just dying to meet because they are connected to a red string of of thread like red like thread material and mostly it's depicted on the pinky if someone is like making drawings or something without considering I guess because I think the pinky is yeah the finger which is close to your heart or it's, it's something connected to the heart and soul but don't yeah don't count me on it but I mean it makes a little sense I guess because this is another reason for us to lock our pinkies together when we make very serious promises. This is... I mean, it makes sense. Um... Okay, wait. Um... Okay. Okay. So, um, at least on this page here, links are, as always, in the description, but... There are three versions of the story, which considers this red, red string of fate. So one is, wait, which one do I read? This here is the shortest. So, <clears throat> quote, In another story, a girl has a crush on a boy and decides to declare her love for him. Unfortunately, the boy rejects her and makes fun of her. The girl runs off to a fountain where he, she meets a... Uh, I hope I don't butcher the name. Yu Xiaolao, who tells her they are soulmates. The girl is still fuming and runs off. When a girl becomes a lady, she meets a young man who seems very charming and in other terms familiar to her. She then asks the man for his name and he says the name of a young boy. The lady doesn't seem to realize though, and then on her 
on a special day he tells her a girl liked him, that he was foolish and made fun of her for it. He then exclaims the girl had the same name as her. Rela realizing who he was, she admits she was a girl and he eventually apologizes. Again, um, no credits here. It's Wikipedia. Wikipedia is... Yeah... Yeah, I don't know how much I can trust Wikipedia on that, but it's a sweet story. It's a sweet one, and I am so sorry if I butchered the name. I don't speak Chinese, that's why. <laughs> but yeah, again, here is the word soulmate used. But with a red string of fate, I would less think of soulmates, but actually, maybe twin flames? I guess I do not know. I am. I have really no idea. Mm. But I remember. Um, you guys probably also know Life is Strange, right? So. <laughs> well. Um, I'm just speaking of Max and. What was her name? I think. Was it uh, Chloe? Was it Chloe? I think it was. Yeah, it's Chloe. Chloe. Chloe? Chloe? I always say Chloe. Um, uh, Max and Chloe. Okay, guys? Alright? So this is. I mean. <laughs> uh, it is not. You know, there is like a possibility for romance, right? And I'm a little bit of a sucker for romance. But even if it, if, yeah, if romance is not involved, I would still consider they at least have a connection. What kind of connection? I know, hundred percent sure. But I wanted to mention it. But life was strange. I would. At least the first game, okay? I'm speaking of the first game. I would say, yeah, there is at least a connection. And it, it, it is sort of quite a strong. So, yeah. <laughs> um. Also, what I noticed, I have not watched it, or better said, read it. But where is the manga for of uh, Kuikan Manwa? Manwa? Sorry for butchering names. Um, it's called Soulmate. I just noticed that while researching. <laughs> um, so uh, I think their name is pronounced G. Like Q I. Is it G? If I butcher names, again, I'm really sorry. But I'm going to say G. Closed her eyes and fell asleep in the warm embrace of her girlfriend. Yuan Xi? Yuan Xi? Xi? Only to wake up 10 years in the past. Now, back in high school, Chi sees this as a chance to save the love of her life from becoming terminally ill. But little does she know that her teenage self is in her adult body. With no clue about the life she built, she's built, and the precious time she has left with Yuan Qi, throughout it all, with each other by their side, can their love conquer every obstacle in any timeline? It's girl's love. Okay, Shoujo I, Shoujo, Shoujo I. Um, okay, full color. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. Source tap tapas. Oh, oh right. I see, I see, I see. All right. So yeah. Um. Again, twin flames and soulmates. It is. It is still kind of hard to distinguish them, even though I would consider them as two different things. But yeah. Yeah. You see, it. it both. Just is a hot topic <laughs> it is a hot topic <laughs> um but yeah this is just like 
I they are like pointing out romantic stuff, right? Yeah, romance. Um, as I said before, the soulmates. Those relationships, twin flames, soulmates, do not have to be romantic. And I am um, from a poll that I made on Instagram, uh, thanks to everyone who um, participated. Um, yeah, it weren't that many, so this is not really, res uh, I don't know. I would not say it is that um, representable, as in showing average people opinion. I think there were at least eight people who were involved, so eight people who took a time to just answer my questions. Those were three to four. For the fourth, no one had an answer with stories about soulmates and twin flames, which is a little sad. But I mean, I I can guess that it's 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 just like you have to be very open. Like you, you it's like spending time on details. All right, so I can I can understand if people say no. I, I from the top of my head, I can't remember one, so it's fine. So. Um, yeah, I was asking like, uh, do you believe in twin flame soulmates? And 80% answered with yes, and 20 said obviously no. So I was like, wow, okay, where are a lot of people who actually believe, at least from the ones who answered, who said, yeah, I believe in this. And I was like, wow, okay, <laughs> this is cool. Again, I am someone who is like, indif not indifferent. Indifferent is not the right word, it's just like, I think it's so interesting, and I sort of believe in it, but it sort of, I can't really say, because it's just like, I have not experienced that yet, in that kind of way, or maybe I have experienced it, but I just didn't realize it, because I did not look it up before, and people just have like the expectations, when it comes to something like that. I mean, I still do have my expectations about twin flames. <laughs> no one says it has to be like that, right? It's just what society thinks of it as it is like that. But it doesn't have to be like that, so... We don't know. We don't know. So, next question. Um, do you think such connections have to be just romantic? And everyone said no. <laughs> <laughs> Which was so so nice to see like yes people thank you for being this open and vogue like yes I love it I love it I I love it again it's a mil miscon um, conception that those connections just have to be romantic it's not it's just often depicted in especially romantic themes. But it doesn't have to be romantic. <laughs> and the last Christian, despite the stories, was like, and this was like, wow, really interesting. <laughs> like, this, there was not really a minority or majority, it was just like 50 50. Those eight people really went on and said, yo, 50 50. <laughs> so, and the question was, do you think we ever get to meet them, like soulmate and especially twin flames? Fifty percent. So maybe so from those eight people, it was four who said yes and four who said no. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, this is cool. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> so again, every, everyone who participated, I if you are listening to this, you know who you are. Thank you for answering my questions. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, maybe next time I get more people to engage in it. Maybe. I, I can't promise that. But thank you for answering. Um, it, it was beautiful. I loved it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. The poll. Um, <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, I want to, like, just like, in general, I want to thank everyone who's listening to my podcast, even though it's not many people. I still appreciate those guys who are just like, yo, I, I'm, I'm tuning in, I'm listening to um, <laughs> Scala speaking about stuff. <laughs> it, I, I, I feel honored. I feel honored even if it's just one or two people who are just like, yo, I'm interested in the stuff she's making. And yeah, thank you. Thank you a lot. So thanks also to the ones who answered my questions. Thanks to you listener participations. Participants, I cannot English. <laughs> um that's episode three and yeah thanks for watching i hope i see or hear from you in the next episode uh which is a little harsher um <laughs> i can't promise it will be up in two weeks i can't promise that um as for me also my semester is starting but the next topic i thought of being toxic relationships and it could be longer than this episode because I have experience, at least, in this field. Oof. But in, at this point, who doesn't? <laughs> so, um, yeah. If you have stories you want to share, uh, keep it anonymous. Just write me a DM on Instagram or Twitter. Guys, I'm on the Bird app. You can. You know, the links are there. You can just dive in <laughs> anyways again thank you and i hope you have a beautiful day um much more sunshine currently it's really cloudy outside let's have good weather a little bit of warmth um i hope you stay safe and sound and i will see you next episode bye bye <laughs>